I think if I were to think of one phrase, it would be the comeback kid. Um, so Europe has shown itself to gradually be coming out of the global financial crisis. And what we've got to be careful of is when we think about Europe, it's not homogenous. You've got the UK, you've got Scandinavia, you've got Central Europe and Southern Europe. And, the, and all of those are moving at a different place and a different dynamic. But it's clear that people are feeling more confident, there's renewed optimism. I wouldn't say we're out of the woods completely, but let's hope this is a renaissance. There was a large debate for, for ages uh, whether or not the euro would break. This is not going to happen. It was never the case, but now investors around the world have realized this. And secondly, people also start to understand that, that many, not all, governments in Europe have made their homework. The broader investment community has concluded Europe's a great place to invest. Now, the great thing is there's some wonderful statistical help here. The economy is improving. We have been able to invest in Europe at pricing for companies that has been in a discount relative to what we see around the world. And then finally, the performance of the private equity portfolios has really been good the last few years. If you look at the fundamentals, Europe is still the largest economy in the world. And that always comes as some surprise to people. It's the largest exporter in the world, larger than the US, larger than China. And Europe is this amazing um, group of, of very complex countries and institutions. So it provides some complexity. And private equity is actually very good with complexity and very good with dislocation. So what's happened in the last two or three years since the financial crisis is that all sorts of really interesting investment opportunities have come up in Europe. We continue to see good industrial opportunities where uh, maybe companies that have large global exposures but they haven't done the fixing yet in their footprint and we can do that. Uh, we are seeing increasing uh, prevalence of digital business models in traditional industries, something that in the US has happened maybe a little earlier, it's happening big time in Europe now. And Europe, of course, they're always good companies at good prices, they're managed by good GP, so it will always be part of our overall allocations. So.